So what is your nationality? I can call myself Ethiopian. Ah. This guy really speaks lots of Swahili. How did you come to know Swahili? In 2002 I went to Kenya. Okay. That's where I learned Swahili. Uh, Kenya is good. Yeah? The people are good. But the economy is not good. Okay. It's been like very, very bad to me. Because even if I'm walking around the city, the Nairobi town, yeah? If someone see me like I'm, I'm, I'm black or I can call myself black, yeah. they will ask me for my passport or residential card. Mm -hmm. If I don't have, they have to take me somewhere mm -hmm. or I have to do something else. You see? Better for you to leave that country and go and stay from, and go back to your, to your homeland. You yeah. see? Your country. Yeah. yeah. That's what I have to say. What about in Ethiopia? Do you experience anything to do with colorism? Maybe you're dark in your complexions and stuff like this. I think there are some things you might think people misunderstand. No, you know what I think? It's the color. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. Like you guys, you're brown. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You cannot call yourself black. Yeah. Like well, myself. compared to you. Yeah, compared yeah. to me. Yeah. I can call myself, I'm black man. I'm black. The original black. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So if I went to some other country, they will see me like... I'm different. You see, I'm different with them. So they will start like judging me or do something. Mm -hmm. What I will not feel good with it. Yeah. yeah. But you see, one day yeah. in Kenya, mm -hmm. someone called me Maka. Really? Do you know the word mean Maka? Maka means charcoal. Yeah. And he's calling me black. You see? Mm -hmm. And so I would like to tell you guys, if you see black person, mm -hmm. it's human being like you. Yeah, okay. But he's the original African. Uh. We did not mix. And don't try to to make tribalism or like colors. Yeah. You you are this color, I'm from this color. Why have we never seen green person? Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Buna with Desta. I have to say I am so grateful and happy that you guys are enjoying this Buna with Desta episode. Hit the like button because today you're definitely going to enjoy this episode, especially because it is requested by you guys so before i introduce my guest to you as the huge we are gonna cheer us to our tea because we are shooting in the evening no buna because we love our sleep so cheers so please tell us who you are and where you are from okay uh, i'm jack omnial and i'm from addis ababa but i'm from gambela region so i'm gambelian oh okay yeah what does being gambelian mean uh, to be Gambelian is mean that like we have a region within Ethiopia uh, and it represents us. Like now you see me the way I'm looking, mm -hmm. that means I'm Gambelian mm -hmm. and we are from Gambela region too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Immediately, if I was just to randomly ask people where they think you're from, I think the first place would have been Gambela. No, South Sudan. No, <laughs> really? I'm in Ethiopia. Uh -huh. But some people they will think that I'm South Sudanese, but. We are we are Ethiopian here. Yeah? We are Gambelan from Ethiopia. Yeah. So where were you born? I was born in Gambela, around the border, the border of Gambela and South Sudan. Mm -hmm. But it was Gambela side. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. That's so all your life you have grown between Gambela, the Ethiopia side, and the South Sudan side. Yeah, I've been staying there like uh, most of the time. I spend on Gambelan side. But for some time, I used to cross the, the border and go to try to visit some other people on the other side too. Yeah. So what is your nationality? My nationality, I can call myself Ethiopian. Ah, yeah. Ethiopian. Wow, amazing. You know, uh, so you speak, this guy really speaks lots of Swahili. How did you come to know Swahili? Yeah, like in 2002, I went to Kenya. That's where I learned Swahili. What did, you go to do? what did you go to do in Kenya? Yeah, I went like a refugee. Okay. But when I reached there, I studied there until my Form 4 or Grade 12. Then after that, 2018, I came back home to Ethiopia. Mm. Yeah. Question, what made you go as a refugee? What was happening that resulted to you having the need to leave? Yeah, it's conflict. There is conflict between the borders and even within ourselves there is some conflicts so if we get a chance to to run from that conflict yeah, it's better to go to another place and stay well oh, i didn't know about this what is the what was the conflict then about uh it was like a fight between like tribe and another tribe so i thought all of you are gambela oh gambela is not a tribe gambela is not a tribe gambela is region 
but my tribe I'm Nuer, Nuer okay. from Gambela. Okay. Yeah, because Gambela we have like four or five tribes, okay. but all of them they call us Gambela because we are looking the same, we have the same look, so they call us Gambela. Can you mention the, the tribes? Nuer? We have Nuer, Dinka, Majanger, and uh, Dibup, these people from Southern. Mm. Yeah. I think I'm more familiar with hearing Dinka, I think so, according. Yeah. Dinka, they are from South Sudan. Ah, okay. They are not in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. So Dinka, they are part of South Sudan. But we have Nuer. Nuer who are staying in Gambela, in Ethiopia, and other Nuer in South Sudan too. Yeah. yeah. How was your experience staying in Kenya? Really, you stayed in Kenya for how many years? I think I stayed for Kenya for 16 years. But my experience in Kenya, yeah, it was very good because yeah, the more, the more you walk, the more you will know life. So... It was difficult for me to stay there, but now I understand the life. It showed me a good life there, by the way. So that's why you found me again in Ethiopia, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Wow, 16 years is a long time. That's, I'm, I'm assuming that's almost half your years that you've already lived, you know? <laughs> why did you leave Kenya? Yeah, you know Kenya? I was staying there in Kenya, like, there are some small problems, you know? So I decided, like, I can change my environment and go and try to live, to go back to my home and start my life there. Mm -hmm. That's why I came back to Ethiopia and start my life. And this is home. So, oh, wow, this is home. Uh, are you willing to share with us some of the problems that you faced that pushed you to leave? Yeah, it w I would like to share, but some, some of them, they are not good to be shared on the TV, yeah? On the... On the uh, everyone to know. Yeah, everyone to know, but the only thing I have to share is that uh, Kenya is good, yeah. The people are good, but the economic is not good. Okay. What does that mean? Uh, you see, in Ethiopia now, yeah, yeah, everything is cheap. By oh, the way, yeah. Okay. But in Kenya, like I, I was staying there in Kenya like a foreigner, yeah. I cannot do what other people are doing in Kenya. I cannot do, like to open a business or to start something small. I cannot do in Kenya because yeah. I'm a foreigner. Mm -hmm. But now I'm at home. I can do everything. I can get where I'm, I can get my daily bread. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, let me clarify that by saying you can actually start a business in Kenya as a foreigner, but just that it takes not the same maybe economic status as the same person who is Kenyan already. It could have a whole different perspective. Okay, well, we will talk one day about this aspect, about investing in different places and starting business. But as of now, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to share this one that you shared with me. That in Kenya, it happens a lot. So I'm okay with it. It's my country. I can share. <laughs> <laughs> that in my country, uh, they always asked you for your identification card. Yes, How was that for you? Yeah, it was very difficult for me to accept that because mm -hmm. it's been like very very bad to me because even if I'm walking around the city the Nairobi town yeah if someone see me like I'm 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 black or I can call myself black yeah. they will ask me for my passport or residential card mm -hmm. if I don't have they have to take me somewhere mm -hmm. or I have to do something else you see okay. so that was the only difficult thing I see in Kenya mm -hmm. yeah have you faced any at that well that has a degree of colorism you know about colorism yeah, know. uh has that affected you as a person yeah okay it affects me very much like i can remember mm -hmm. there are some time people used to tell me that i'm not belong to kenya you see this is not your home you see but i was just surprised because someone who is human like you telling you to in his own country like that it's better for you to leave that country and go and stay from and go back to your to your homeland. You yeah. see your country. Yeah. yeah. That's what I have to say. What about in Ethiopia? Do you experience anything to do with colorism? No, no. Ethiopia is the best country oh, okay, ever. Okay, you see? Okay, yeah. Cuz here now, yeah? Uh -huh. We have region. We are from Gambela. Yeah. You see? I can do whatever Ethiopian is doing, I can do. Cuz I'm one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Have you gone to South Sudan? Tell us about that. Yeah, I, 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 I walk. I went to South Sudan for like a while. 2018, mm -hmm. like April. I went for six months in South Sudan. So South Sudan is it's not that much good. Mm -hmm. 
I was not in the town like Juba, capital city, but I was in the outside village, rural village, uh, where it's called Akobo. Akoba town. Some people can know it. Yeah. It's called Akoba. Yeah. And it's border to Ethiopia. Yeah, we have a border with Ethiopia. Okay, yeah. 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 So, okay, yeah, you can take your tea. Feel free, feel free as I ask you the next question. Uh, you have lived, that means you have lived 16 years in Kenya. How many years now in Ethiopia? I'm um, staying three years. Three years in Ethiopia and uh, six, months. six months in South Sudan. Yeah. What country do you feel so much at home and why? Or where do you want to be associated with and you're happy to stay? Yeah, I would like to say that it's better for me to stay in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Because right. Ethiopia, like, it's peace. peace. When you came in Ethiopia, like the first time you step your foot in Ethiopia, you feel free, you know? No stress, no what, it's peace. Because you can get anything mm -hmm. from Ethiopia. And there is no like, I'm from this side, I'm from here. No, I have never seen that. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I prefer to stay in Ethiopia because yeah. it is my home. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Uh, home is the best. Anywhere you go, you have to return home. Yeah. And not, I'm not saying that Ethiopia is home too. Africa is home to me. Yeah. But if I go to outside country in Africa, if they are not treating me well like them, yeah, I have to go back where I belong. Yeah. What do you think people misunderstand about you guys? The, the fact that maybe you're dark in your complexions and stuff like this. I think there are some things you might think people misunderstand. No, you know what I think? It's the color. You know? Uh -huh. Like you guys you are brown. Yeah, yeah. You cannot call yourself black. Yeah. Like Well, I compared said, to you. Yeah, compared yeah. to me. Yeah. I can call myself I'm black man. I'm black. The original black, yeah? Mm -hmm. So if I went to some other country, they will see me like I'm different. You see, I'm different with them. So they will start like judging me or do something mm -hmm. what I will not feel good with it. Yeah. Yeah. But not all. Not all. Not all, yeah. yeah. Wow. Have you do you have like an example you can share of something that happened? Yeah, I have a lot. Of, I love Give a us lot. one. <laughs> you see, one day yeah. in Kenya, mm -hmm. someone called me Maka. Really? Do you know the word mean Maka? Maka means charcoal. Yeah. And he's calling me black. You see? Mm -hmm. And I ask her. So, so it, you, it was a lady? Yeah, it was a lady. You are calling me black, yeah? yeah. So what about you? Mm -hmm. She said that I'm brown. I'm chocolate, man. I mean, I just tell him you don't know what you are doing. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it is nature. I cannot, I cannot say because I'm black. I'm not African. I'm not Ethiopian. I'm not Kenya. I'm not Uganda. So, color doesn't matter to me. But some people, mm -hmm. they take it like the big thing on their mind. Yeah. yeah. So I would like to tell you guys, if you see black person, mm -hmm. it's human being like you. Yeah, okay. But he's the original African. Ah. We did not mix. Yeah. We did not mix. We did not mix. Ah. Question. Okay. Ignore my ignorance. If <laughs> any ignorance can come out as I ask you this. But uh, do you ever wish you were not black? No. Oh, okay. I have never wished that. Even I, I appreciate myself to become this way because mm -hmm. I'm different with others. Oh, okay. Even the Muzungu. You know, Muzungu is white man. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Me, with white man, we are, we are different. And yeah. with the other Africans, we are different too. Yeah. So I'm proud to be black. I'm proud to be original black. Wow. Yes. That's good. That's good. That's that's very good. You know the problem is that I wish us Africans can really embrace this about ourselves. And so I'm very proud that uh, you have fully embraced this and you're happy to be as you are. And uh, wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. So what message do you have for the people, especially in relation to where you come from? Do you feel actually accepted here and part of Ethiopians? Yes, I do. I can be I can vote. I can do anything. I can be joined I can join the military. Yeah. I can be the president here in Ethiopia. Because mm. I have the same right with Ethiopian, yeah? yeah. I can I'm proud to be Ethiopia mm. and I'm proud to be black. How can I differentiate an an Ethiopian Gambela and a South Sudan Gambela? Uh there's no difference. Oh, okay. Okay. Cause uh, these people who are on Gambelan side, mm -hmm. like Nuer, and the other Nuer in South Sudan, we speak the same language. We are the same color, we are black, yeah? yeah. But we are all the same, you cannot differentiate. Yeah. Even yeah. I can say I'm South Sudan, nobody knows. I can say I'm Ethiopian, nobody knows. Mm -hmm. 
you see? Yeah. Uh, just, we are all the same. Ah, okay. What is a favorite culture that you love about your, your community and uh, from the Gambela region? Some things that you guys do? Yeah, our food. Oh, you have different foods? We have different food than Ethiopian, that, okay. than local food here. Yeah, because yeah, what I can say, we have like cope. Cope? Yeah, we have another thing, Kisla. You cannot find them here in Addis, but you can find them in our region, Gambela. Mm -hmm. And our, tr uh, our traditional dressing and whatever, yeah. it's different too, mm -hmm. with others. Yeah. yeah. Even your dances as well. Everything is it's not the same. Yeah. Yeah, we have our own culture like Nuer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can find some man, they have lines here. Ah. They have six lines. So those. you cut yourself? Yeah, yeah. It's like those man. Uh, if you see them, they are from Noel tribe, and you have to respect them. They are warrior too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Wow. <laughs> so this episode is called Buna with Desta. You know what Buna means, definitely. And guys, he speaks Amharic also. Oh, uh, yeah, way way more better Amharic than I do. Uh, you know what Buna is, and you know what Desta means, right? Yeah, I know. So I love asking people, are you happy? Yeah, I'm happy. I'm very happy to be with you. Yeah. And to have this show with you, so I appreciate. Mm. Yeah. Uh, okay. So based on what happiness means to you, are there things you think you do that helps you to be in a happy mode, or just depending on what happiness is as a definition to you? Yeah, happiness. Sometimes people take it in a wrong way, mm -hmm. that you have to have a friend, yeah. or maybe you are doing something good. Yeah. But for me, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Happiness is depend on you what you are thinking, what you are doing, yeah? Like for me, if I want to be happy, mm -hmm. I, can, I can play football, ah, nice. or I can listen to music, yeah, yeah, yeah. or even I can walk, just walk. Take a walk, Take a walk just to see the environment, see the people on the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Wow, amazing. Ah, great. It cannot even get better. And, uh -huh. and even Buna, if you drink Buna, you will be happy too. <laughs> coffee <laughs> okay wow wow do you have a message to the world that you would love people to know yeah i would like to tell i have mm -hmm. sure please okay what i would like to share with you yeah. is that if you are watching this video please there are so many people around the world let me say in africa but you don't know them like now you can see me i'm, I'm different with you mm -hmm. but desta know that she meet with me so I would like to tell you guys, travel, make friendships, uh, know the other people's culture, yeah. and don't try to, to make tribalism or like colors. Yeah. You, you are this color, I'm from this color. Why have we never seen green person? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. But we are black, we are from Africa all. Mm -hmm. So what I would like to say that, we are from Africa and I'm from Africa too. So where you stay, it's my home too. Yeah. Ah, okay. Wow, amazing. Thank you so much for coming on Buna with Desta. It was fun shooting with you. Thank you. See you. Uh, yeah. So I don't know why this insect is bothering me, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Remember, if you want to enjoy a cup of drink with me here on Buna with Desta episode, my email address is over here. And let's get the chat conversation and different experiences and stories out there to the world. Otherwise, uh, always, always remember to create time for that which ignites your soul. Until next time. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Uh.